If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Back in live coverage of the NFL Scouting Combine continues on the reality check with Glenn Clark. I knew this man, and he showed up in Arizona. This is the first coach that I ever like really had a conversation with. And I love this guy. The head coach of the Arizona Cardinals, Ken Wisenhunt, now sits down with his coach. I- I'm glad I know you've got nothing to do this weekend, so I'm glad you could just come by and hang out and yeah. shoot breeze. You know, it's always good to hang out with your old friends. <laughs> nothing, nothing going on. Not a, not a big weekend for your franchise or anything like that. No, no. Uh, give me an idea this year. Let me start with what matters to us in Baltimore. How do, how's Todd Heath doing? He's doing good. He had a little bit of an injury thing with his hamstring this year, but at the times when he was in there, he really did well for us. What did it mean to have a guy like that around your young guys, a guy that's been so successful? I think it's always good when you have good football players that are good guys like he is. They, you know, he brings so much to the table besides just being a good football player, and that's important to us young team like we have, so we were very happy to get Todd with us. And he would be like governor of Arizona anyway. I mean, he's like the most popular man in the state. It sure seems that way. Yeah. Um, your team where you are right now, I, I heard uh, qu- you're thinking quarterback competition. Kevin Cobb, John Skelton, is that the idea right now? Well, I think we have two guys that we feel very good about, and uh, we'll get a chance to see what they do in training camp and preseason, but you know, I think that we obviously have a lot invested in Kevin Cobb, and we feel good about him, but you can't ignore what John Skelton did for us over the last nine games, the last seven games, and that's important too. Now here's the part where I ask this question. Um, are, are you thinking about any other quarterbacks perhaps? <laughs> um, you know, I think we're always looking for opportunities to help our team get better. Okay. And everybody wants to point to the quarterback, but I'll give you a story from last year. We felt like we were in pretty good shape at the quarterback position, and we, we had an opportunity to get Richard Marshall from Carolina, and he played great for us, was an important part of our defense. So I think you're always looking for opportunities to get better. So you wouldn't uh, eliminate the possibility of maybe another quarterback coming in? You know, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get into any of this. I think, I'm not going to do specifics. I'm I, think, uh, I think I answered your question. All right, fair enough. He's Coach Ken Wisenhunt. He joins us here from the Combine in Indianapolis. Um, you know, this is always an interesting week. I want These are always things I like asking coaches. What's the one question that you have to ask a kid when he comes to meet with you in Indianapolis? You know, everyone's different. I don't have one set question. I think you, you have a little bit of an idea of his background, so you're always asking him um, different questions that you think are important. Probably one of the things that I always ask him, though, is his family situation, because that's important. You know, what kind of support are you going to have? Are, are your parents going to come to the game? Or, you know, what about your situation? Are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Because sometimes those affect you as a player individually. I know guys get homesick, or, or they miss their wife, or they miss their girlfriend. So, you know, it's part of the process, but that's one that, you, that I generally ask. Them. Is there anything for you that, you know, maybe eliminates someone from being in, coming in Arizona Cardinal, but if you hear a certain thing, it's an immediate red flag, we cannot have that guy on our team? Um, you know, I think it's more of a combination of things, okay. and that's what this process is. That's why it's so important that you get a chance to spend time with these guys. You know, sometimes they may be good football players, but they're not the right fit for your chemistry, for your team, and that's an important part of it. So, you know, that's all part of this process, and that's why it's such an inexact science, the draft, and picking players, and that's why a lot of times, or sometimes it does or doesn't work out, because you never know, and that you're trying to figure out what's the best fit for your team and your organization. I think you talked about the, the family situation. Everything here is measured, right? I mean, height, vertical, weight, all that stuff. And yet, I guess the most important things are intangible things that you, you can't measure. No, in, you're right. There are intangible things. Look, there may be a guy that doesn't have great workout numbers that's a great football player. We've seen that so many years through the league, through the, through the league all these years through the league. He has that heart. So, you know, there are a lot of intangibles that are involved in these process. Now, you came off the boat with the, the Ravens back in the day, so we didn't point that out, but he's a Raven alum, uh, and you actually helped me my coaching book, and I appreciate that. How much has this thing changed? I mean, this is 17 years since the Ravens have been in the league. We're out here doing live radio now. It's the first time we've ever done it. Uh, and I guess more than that, this media thing started with five or ten people probably 15 years ago. And Phil Savage used to always say, nasty, you got to come out to the combine. It's the greatest thing ever. And I guess everybody's kind of caught on with NFL Network. How much has it maybe changed the whole process of evaluating players? It's become a circus. You have to come over and deal with guys like us from Baltimore. <laughs> well, you know what? I think the one thing that we'll never complain about is fans. I mean, it's become such a popular game. And there's so many people that have interest in it. So it's an important part of it. 
and, and I like that. I mean, I like that people want to know, and I think the exposure to the combine has got people even more interested. They're excited about seeing guys run and work out, and they want to get as much information as they can. So that's why there's so many people here talking about the combine and about these players. And all it does is make our game more interesting, more fan um, accessible, which is important. And more annual. There is no all season. I was in Indy two weeks ago. I'm back here again. It's crazy. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, that's great. I mean, people are hungry for football, and I think that's great for all of us. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.